Hey guys, I wanted to go over this poster that GameStop had tweeted. It's for the new Zombies map, Der Eisendrache. And you can get one of these if you order the season pass through GameStop. I called GameStop to find out when these are going to be available, and they said they don't have any in stock right now, and that they probably won't get any until the release day of the Awakening DLC, which is going to be around February 2nd. There are a few things I'd like to point out about this poster. First thing is that the images we've seen so far of the castle look nothing like this new poster. The whole structure of the castle, like up at the front, and the turret there at the bottom is very, very different. But if you look at the actual actual real life image of the castle, it looks very similar to this poster. I guess we're just going to have to trust that the trailer that they showed us is going to be a lot closer to what the map is actually going to look like. Another thing that's interesting is the top right of that poster. You can see like an image of a skull with a moon kind of in the eye socket. And I think people are beginning to notice that this looks a lot like the jump scare that you see on Origins. When you compare them, they're not like totally identical, but they do look very similar to each other. Just based on the fact that this crew is is gonna be the Origins crew that's gonna be in the new map does make it seem like it could be possible that this is what that image is representing. Another huge difference in this poster is the way that Dempsey looks. To me, he doesn't even look like the same guy. Like, his jawline looks totally different. His jacket is very different too. It almost looks like a black vinyl instead of that brown leather that he usually wears. And that radio that he wears on his top left shoulder and that cord going down, that's totally different as well. There's also been a lot of discussion about the gun that he's holding. People were saying that this could be an MP41. You know, it's a lot like the MP40, but now it has a wooden stock on it. And here's a comparison image of the MP40 and the MP41. I'd say the MP41 looks a little bit like what he's holding, but there's definitely some differences still. This next part of the poster right here looks like it could be longitude or latitude coordinates. It looks like it says 12, 29, 17, and like 8 or 80. I did do some research on this, and if it is a coordinate, then we only have one, and we need two to actually find a spot on the Earth. I decided to try it as a latitude coordinate and then a longitude coordinate and see where it lines up. You can actually convert that coordinate into a decimal, like latitude, and so it reads 12.48556. This coordinate is going to run horizontal around the entire Earth, and you can see right here that blue marker is the actual 12.48556 coordinate. That red marker is the very center of of the longitude latitude grid if you actually saw it that would be the very center point of it i decided to follow this coordinate around the earth and see where it lines up at if you go to the left you can see it's mostly ocean and you're not going to really run into much land so i decided to follow it to the right and you can see that it is pretty much right in the middle of africa right here this latitude coordinate runs through nigeria and chad and then sudan and then if you keep going, it actually goes right below Yemen. I kept going right, and I was just out in the ocean, and I'm like, well, nothing's out here, until I came upon this little island right here, and this is called Socotra Island. We all know about the multiplayer map Yemen, and I wanted to find out where exactly is this map located. I found it interesting that the Yemen multiplayer map is actually Socotra Island. Again, this coordinate is like dead center on top of this little island out in the middle of the ocean. And this may not mean anything. This could be just a huge coincidence. I can't imagine what Socotra Island or like Yemen would have to do with zombies at all. After I saw this, I decided to do the coordinates for the longitude coordinates. So instead of going east and west, now we're going to go north and south and follow that line and see where that takes us. This map here shows the actual coordinates to the castle on the bottom left. So those are the real longitude latitude coordinates. And then over to the right is the longitude latitude of where my mouse cursor actually is. I tried to keep my cursor as close as I could to the 12.4 on the map and then just follow it up and see where it goes. It does go up through like Italy and then Austria and then into Germany. It does go about an hour to the left of the actual castle. I didn't notice anything too significant without really studying every little city that this line runs through. Again, this may not be a coordinate at all, but if it is, then, you know, if you go to the map, this is what it's going to look like. It does seem like Turk loves to give us coordinates, though, and you can see that on Shadows of Evil. Whenever you piece together this notebook page, you can see coordinates to four different areas. One coordinate does take you very close to the castle that we're going to be going to, but it doesn't take you right to that castle. It takes you to some ice caves nearby. I find that really interesting, and I've got some information on that, and that's going to be a whole nother video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you next video.
Uh, these machines, are they licensed by the city? I have to swallow this. Gum makes a real mess on the sidewalk.